Welcome to lesson 5.3, where we're going to be talking about side angle side triangle congruence. Now, if you uh, understood the previous few lessons, then this is pretty much in the same line, right? If you can prove that two triangles have the same corresponding side angle and side in that order, then those two triangles are congruent. So go ahead and read the explain one and, and all that uh, if you want. We're going to jump into the your turn question here. Because I'm going to assume that you read it and you kind of have a pretty good grasp of what's going on here. And let's let's test our knowledge here looking at the your turn section. And so we are asked to determine whether triangle DEF is congruent to triangle GHJ and to justify our reasoning. So um, let's see here. We can see that triangle DEF and triangle G, uh, GHJ has... Um, very similar parts, right? We have uh, side DE, which is both 2.5 centimeters. So we can conclude that um, DE is congruent to HG because of the sides. And then we also have angle D here, right? We have an angle. Angle D is congruent, oops, congruent to angle G here on this side, right? So we have a side, we have an angle. Now we all have well, the only thing we have to do is prove the other side. So we can see here that uh, side DF and side JG are both 1.7 centimeters. So we can conclude that DF is congruent to uh, JG or GJ or whichever one you want to, whichever order you want to put that in. And because of that, we have side angle side triangle congruence okay so there we go question or sorry your turn question number one um, you can do more reading on explain two but we're going to jump into these two proofs and prove side angle side triangle congruence um, based on what we're given here so uh, first statement side a b is congruent to side a D. So we are told AB is congruent to AD, and that is a given statement here. So I'm going to write given here. And angle 1 and angle 2 are congruent. That is also a given statement right here. So I'm going to also write given here. So we have also we have already proved um, we have a side that is congruent. We have an angle that is congruent. Now we just need a side. And we can see here that we are told AC is congruent to AC because they share that side. And this is just going to be another um, another uh, reflexive statement here. Reflexive, um, what was it? Reflexive property of congruence. And then lastly, triangle BAC is congruent to triangle DEC. That's our concluding statement, uh, which is side angle side triangle congruence since that's what we proved, the side of a side, we have angle on one side. Theorem. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, question number two. We are given that C is the midpoint of AD and BE, and we need to prove ABC, triangle ABC is tri uh, congruent to triangle DEC. Um, so this first statement is our given statement here. And... Um, this is a midpoint, so what that means is this is going to be equal to this, and this is going to be equal to this, right? So AC being equal to CD um, is going to be the definition of a bisector. And I think that's one of our choices here, right? It is definition of bisector. Definition of bisector. Okay, and AC being congruent to CD is just, um, hmm, I don't know. That was definition of a bisector. They stated it again. I'm just, I'm going to go with this, definition of congruence, right? If those are equal, then side AC being congruent to side CD is going to be um, definition of congruence. I think it's a little silly because we've already proved that they basically are the same. 
uh, side EC being equal to side CB is just the same thing. Definition, in fact, I'm going to save us some time and I'm just going to copy and paste these two things because the next two statements are going to be the same. That, thanks to the magic of technology here. Uh, and then angle ACB being congruent to DCE. So this angle being congruent to this angle. They are vertical angles, so we're going to go with this statement right here. Vertical angles are congruent. Vertical angles are congruent. And lastly, triangle ABC is congruent to DEC. Well, that's our side angle side triangle congruent statement. Uh, not statement, theorem. Right, because we have, um, we are told the side, right, side, we have the angle, and then we have the side being uh, proven here.